What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings 1010, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current karmic energy. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the collective. Thank you guys for all the support you showed to the channel. I appreciate you guys. So we're going to get the oracle. All right. So respect your physical body. Okay. In a situation. So your ancestors want you to respect your physical body. And we have answer the call. Okay. So you could be needing to answer a call. So divine could be nudging you to do something here okay possibly when it comes to your body all right so definitely listen to that okay so whatever divine been nudging you do do it okay all right current karmic energy for the collective i'm hearing that divine could be nudging for some of you guys to take a um a trip somewhere okay so divine may be nudging you to go somewhere okay you could be needing to go there because maybe you're going to get a message or something you're going to receive okay all right let's see current karmic energy what's this current karmic energy spirit two of cups all right then we have nine of swords so this current karmic energy could be stressed out about a soulmate connection all right we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody stressed out about a love situation here. All right. Somebody is stressed out about it. You have two of pentacles. Somebody is juggling. Okay. The reason why somebody could be stressed out because somebody could have found out that somebody is, they have a lot of options and shit. Okay. All right. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that somebody could have figured out what somebody was working on and somebody could have left it out in the cold because somebody could have felt betrayed. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like that somebody could have uh, seen some kind of receipts. That somebody could have did, uh, somebody could have did like some kind of, um, had some kind of new beginning, uh, with, with somebody here. And I feel like that is causing a lot of like, whoever somebody had a new beginning with, okay. It could be causing a lot of conflict. Okay. In a situation. So it's a lot of conflict and a soulmate connection. King of Pentacles. Okay. This person could have money. Or this person could just be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is out here heavy. Okay. All right. Then we got the hangman like this. I feel like that somebody could have just sacrificed the situation. Because I feel like that somebody could have looked at something long term. And somebody is just choosing something else. All right. Two of Wands. Yep, nine of wands. But I feel like somebody is making a hurry to try to come to somebody and give somebody something. So I feel like if you have recently cut somebody off, because you could have found out that, um, or you could have left this person out in the cold or something like that. I feel like that this person is trying to hold on to you. Okay even still okay this person if you're not talking to this person this person could be holding on to you um like spiritually energetically okay this this person want to come back in and offer you something yeah because they're addicted to you yeah this 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 person addicted to your ass and they see you as their wish fulfillment okay so this person even though you cut this person off this person is making some plans to balance some things out with you okay i feel like this is gonna shock you with what this person is going to do. Okay, for some of y'all. Let's 
lovers fool okay so this person uh could have made a decision to take a leap of faith here i feel like that this person could feel like that this person could have like some kind of deep love for you or something like that all right this this energy here okay this could be an energy where you could look at this person as a karmic as well like you look at this person as some kind of karmic energy because this person could have betrayed you a lot all right I feel like that somebody could have seen that somebody gave or was given to somebody else, whether this is time, money, energy, gifts, okay? But I feel like somebody do want to come in and treat you fair. All right, it's for somebody. Yep, three of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like that somebody wants forgiveness, okay? I feel like also uh, somebody, something about some negative self-talk. So I feel like that this person could be, um, for some of y'all, you you not looking at this situation in a good light. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. But this person wants you to um, release the pain that they put you through. Or this person wants to come in and help fix it. The pain that they could have put you through. This person could have backstabbed you a lot from giving to a lot of different people. All right. Is what I'm getting here. And this person, you know, they want to come in. Yep. Eight of Cups. I feel like that this person could be uh, withdrawn or you could be withdrawn with this person. But I feel like you blocking this person because you got some clarity that this person, for some of y'all, you got some clarity about an STD. And for some of y'all, you got a clarity that this person is coming together with other people and shit like that. And if you spiritual like me, you don't play that shit because you know how important it is for your energy, for your sexual energy and all of that. So you're not trying to like entertain somebody that is spreading their shit all around to other motherfuckers, okay? You know, you're not fucking with that. You know what I mean? But I feel like that this person is very addicted to you, okay? These people that this person could have been fucking with, they could give good head, okay? So they could, this could be a person that love head, okay? And the people that they were fucking with could, you know, give them good head or something like that. Okay, is what I'm getting. Yeah, playing with fire. I feel like this person has realized that they have played with fire dealing with you. Yeah, because this person could have but trying to mind fuck you. Okay, and this person is not realizing that they was playing with fire. I feel like that this person could be watching tarot readings. Okay, if you a tarot reader, this person could watch you. The options of this person could even watch you. Okay, this person could dibble dabble in third parties. So these people that um they dibble dabble with, you know, they, you know, do third parties with these people. All right. Definitely protect your energy when it comes to this person. Smudge your space. Yep. I feel like this person could have could have wanted to mind fuck you into a third party situation for some of y'all. Okay. All right. This person, um, for some people, this person could deal with um readers for some people. Okay, I'm hearing something about a reader. Like somebody could like deal with readers or something. Okay. Or you could be a reader or something like that. Or this person could have hit up a reader to uh, ask them about you. So I want to see if this person hit up a reader. I want to see what the reader said about you. What did this reader say about the collective? If this person hit up a reader, what did this reader say about the collective? What did this reader say about the collective what did this reader say about the collective six of swords that she was moving forward yep so the reader could have told this person that you moving forward okay yep that you moving on 
What else about what this reader could have said? What else about what this reader could have said? King of Pentacles. Okay, so this person, um, the reader could have said something about you moving forward to somebody else. Okay, that's very uh, trust trustworthy, you know. And I feel like that somebody want to end that and they because they trying to hold on to you and shit. Okay, so I feel like that this person um, is trying to come in and end that because this person could see that the person that you're going to end up with is going to be very, very dependable. They're going to have your back. You ain't going to have to worry about shit. You know what I'm saying? This person is going to have you, you know, this person is not going to be playing games and shit. You know what I'm saying? So man or woman, this person see that you are going towards uh somebody that's very um this person could be very financially successful or this person could just be very dependent, you know. You could depend on this person. You will be able to depend on this person. And for some of y'all, this is going to be a person in, um with the king of pentacles. This is also a husband. All right? This is married. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, this person could have seen that, you know, the person that you about to get with, you know, you're going to be married to this person. You're going to have a commitment with this person. Okay. I feel like for some of y'all, this person is looking at your growth and this person is mad about your growth. Okay, this person is mad about the growth that you could have had. Okay, in your life and stuff like that. This person could be jealous about that as well. Okay. I don't feel like with the three of swords in reverse, I don't feel like you guys are hurt about this anymore. For some of you guys, you could be, but for majority, um, you guys are not hurt with this person. I feel like you've cut the core. You, you've detached yourself, all emotions, all feelings and everything. So it's like, you're not phased with this person and what the fuck they got going on. Okay. Or you don't need to be because the person that you're going towards or the person that's coming towards you, they're going to be very dependable and they're going to have your motherfucking back for sure. Taurus Virgo Capricorn is out here heavy and we do have Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, strong Gemini. Okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, strong Capricorn. Um, Aries Leo Sag, strong Aries. Okay. All right. I feel like whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they're going to they gonna help heal your heart. So if there's still like little residue from what you have been through, I feel like that this person going to come in and help you heal that. This person is going to show you real, genuine love that's coming towards you. Okay? Like they going to have your back for real. They ain't going to let up either. Okay? We have nose piercing. Chrysler, dark liquor, right arm tattoos, somebody could have dark hair, you have thin, somebody could be small, somebody could love flip flops, somebody could be a stay at home dad, we have Taurus, CEO, married, somebody gonna have some big ass feet, or somebody could, we have colored hair, we have boat or a yacht. Thin eyebrows, performer, we have 60s, bank teller, stripper. So somebody could have told somebody something when it came to a stripper. All right, somebody could have told somebody some information. Or maybe this person was given to a stripper and stuff like that and neglecting you and shit like that. But yeah, this person ready to take that damn flight. Okay. <laughs> Cook, somebody could love to cook. Something about a chef could be. We have dogs, TV series, full lips, left arm tattoos, and we have drug addict. All right, so this person, whoever that they fuck with, um, they are drug addict. Okay, so they could fuck with people where they do drugs with and stuff like that. And for a lot of you guys, you know, you know how people like, you know, you, you're not perfect. Nobody is perfect. You know what I mean? 
But the energies that this person fuck with, this person don't realize how they are depleting this person's energy. Okay, this person could realize and they just still entertain it because, you know, some people just like that. But I feel like that the people that this person fuck with, they like depletes this person's energy. Okay, this person's get depleted. Okay, fucking with these people. Okay. And I feel like that this person could know this person is realizing that for some of y'all. And it's like this person could be very materialistic as well. So maybe for some of y'all, you don't have, maybe you stable. For some of y'all, you could be stable, but maybe you don't have a Ferrari. Maybe you don't have a bunch of Birkin bags and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But you could be stable. You could pay on bills. You could do, you know, some things that you want, you know, whatever, whatever. But you may not have a Birkin. You may not have a Ferrari. You may not have, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay. And this person could have been fucking with people that may have had some of those things you know what i mean because this person could be really big on what people have what people look like um different things like that okay a lot of you guys you just a whole totally different vibe okay you just totally different okay for some of y'all split the deck you a damn high priestess Okay, so you're extremely spiritual. You know what's up. You could be psychic as well. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, let's see. Yep, no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe. Okay, and a decision will be made. Because you are a messenger, speak your truth. So it's some things that you could have spoke. You could have spoke some real shit to this person. Okay, you, you spoke the truth. Like, you know, you want to hang out with all these low vibrational motherfuckers. Go ahead, but I'm not going to be a part of that shit. No, thank you. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of you guys trusted your intuition or you need to. Okay, when it comes to this Ace of Cups situation. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's crazy, y'all, for real. for some of you guys I feel like that this person could be afraid of your skill development or something like that for like for some of y'all you could be mastering some kind of skill okay I feel like this like I said this person could have had very very high standards and maybe this person felt like you wasn't good enough but I feel like you got somebody coming towards you that's gonna make you feel more than that you know what i mean you could be already with this person or this is what's coming towards you all right something with a taurus all right capricorn something with lenny somebody name could be lenny somebody could love drinking gin virgo Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, all right, so something about a dope man, okay, <laughs> I'm just seeing that, okay, somebody, you know, could have been that back in the day or whatever like that. All right, something with JP or PJ. We have 21, 26, 23, 29, 25, 62, 61, 63, 69, 65, 31, 36, 32, 39, 35, 93, 95, 91, 96, 92, 59, 53, 51, 
56 or 52. Okay, something with honey, something with Han or honey. Okay, um, something with Monique, Monica. Okay. Also, if this is a person that's in jail, okay, for some of y'all, this is a person that's in jail. Okay, even though I don't see the eight of swords out here, I see the nine of wands out here. But this person could be in jail. If this person is in jail, this person could be very worried that you're going to meet somebody that's going to really like treat you right and be there for you. And I feel like y'all do got somebody coming towards you if you have not. If this person is in jail, you got somebody else coming towards you. You're going to have to make a decision about. Okay? Something with... um. What else, Spirit? Something with Dominique. Don. Yeah, somebody could be an OG. So like I said, somebody could be like, you know, a gangster or, you know, that's their vibe. You know, somebody could have a lot of swag, you know, and stuff like that. Something with UG. 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 Okay. What else, Spirit? Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys is like, no. No. You ain't fucking with it. No. <laughs> a lot of y'all like, I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. That's a lot of y'all. That's how a lot of y'all feel right now. Somebody can have a dog. Okay. Somebody could look at you as like royalty. So like a goddess and stuff like that. God, goddess, you know. Somebody could look at you like that. Okay. Something about a cheerleader. Something about a cheerleader. So somebody could have been a cheerleader on a cheer team. Okay. Even if this was, <clears throat> excuse me. Even if this was back in the day. Um, somebody could have been on a cheer team before or somebody is currently on a cheer team. Okay. Something with Elijah. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for the services that I provide for any other information about me. Um, and with that, you guys, peace.